Let's make a chicken parm on pineapple. Let's go! Okay, how am I gonna do this? Okay, let's move some of this stuff. How many am I gonna use tonight? Use a couple. Seasoning up the flour with salt, pepper, some garlic and onion powder, and then some red chili powder to give it a little bit more heat. Make sure all of that gets a really good mix in with that okay. flour. I've got the bacon cooking, the chicken marinating, and next, our pineapple. Hmm. I hope that's still okay, but anyway, let's, let's give it a try and we'll see. Yeah, that's okay. Salvageable. That's the important key here. So I'm gonna go one, two, one, two, three, four. Mmm, so sweet. Just so it can sit flat. Okay, chicken marinated long enough. <clears throat> Try and drip off as much of that buttermilk as possible. Send that right into our flour and use the dry hand here. Cover the chicken first. That way you can work a little bit easier as opposed to wetting both hands. So we'll just tap off that excess flour for now. Set it aside, move on to the next. Public service announcement. This is the first time ever I've air fried or I've tried to air fry my chicken parm. And last time, nope, didn't like it. Didn't like how it's turned out. Still gonna finish the dish, but um, I'm not happy how it turned out. I mean, there's some that are good. Like these guys are good. This one, it just didn't, um, didn't go the way that I planned. It was not um, all of my batter, everything. Just, I sprayed the trays and it's still stuck. I didn't expect it to be sticky. It was sticky. Like, I mean, you know, like really? That's like the saddest piece of chicken parm. Now this was a plain one. I didn't, I didn't coat that. That's fine. But well, this guy's okay. Oh, it's still hot. You know, that guy turned out okay. Not, not so bad. This guy turned out okay. But I'm definitely either going to uh, go back to my old methods next time of either baking it in the oven or I can fry it but I'm certainly not air frying my chicken parm again. Anyway, let's get to the rest of the dish. Okay, let's set that aside. Whoa, okay. Here we go. Just a little bit of salt, not too much. A little bit of pepper. So a thin layer of our sauce. I'm 
that's not really a thin layer of sauce there. But nonetheless, I have some pre-cooked bacon. No matter what, we can always find a way to salvage a dish. I'll bring you in for a closer look. Losing it of time. It smells delicious, looks delicious. I think it's gonna taste delicious. We always wonder, does pineapple belong on pizza? Maybe not, but pineapple belongs with chicken parm. I think I need to turn that around so you can see that. Check that out. Let's bring in for a closer look on that. Look at that. Wow. I called an audible and changed the camera so you could see the inside. Let's get this without it falling. Wow. Okay, that's steaming. I'm about to burn the roof of my mouth here. That's what I'm willing to do for Uncle Drew's kitchen. Okay, seasoned, seasoned eater. Mm. Boom! I don't know if pineapple belongs on pizza, but it sure as hell belongs with my chicken parm. That is freaking incredible. Holy, I've never made this before. I, I don't even know why I was thinking this. Besides that I had to use the pineapple before it spoiled and I had to frost the chicken. Like, look at this, wow. Pineapple, chicken breast, chicken parm, tomato sauce, cheese. This is a seasoned move. I'm speaking, I'm talking. That way it has a chance to cool and I don't burn myself. Mm. Mm. That's freaking incredible. I'm bringing the leftovers. It's not even the leftovers yet. I say leftovers, I may eat it all. But the group that I'm golfing with tomorrow, I think is gonna get to try this. I've got one, two, three, three good pieces left. Okay, maybe I'll just bring one, maybe two. Make sure to like, follow, comment, subscribe, share, tell all your friends, really. I wanna get more people watching Uncle Drew's Kitchen. I'll make more great dishes. Boom!